Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla achievement guide and this one, well it's kind of a mega one to be honest. So big absolute mega thanks to Achilles Melee on YouTube for the video where he shows at this moment in time and at the time of this recording anyway, how to get actual god mode in the game. That's right, god mode, where no enemies hurt you, they don't even see you or attack you. Of course, this could be patched very soon, so my advice is, if you're on Assassin's Creed and you want to glitch a few bosses or achievements such as Overdesign 2, my bet is get your ass doing it ASAP. And I know this isn't the way the game's meant to be played, so don't at me, okay? Um, I'm just showing this off for anyone who is struggling with certain bosses, zealots, especially those goddamn sons of bitches, the daughters of Lyrion. And they can be goddamn sons of bitches. So how do we do this, I hear you say? Is it over co overly complicated and pointless to do? It's actually so easy, it is hilarious. So first things first, we are going to go and play a game of Orlog. That's it. So it can be anywhere. Um, I've come to Grand Bridge... Uh, Grand Bridge... Skyer, Grand Bridge Shire? <laughs> and we're just going to play the game here. And of course, there's a tiny bit of timing involved. So, like I said, we'll, we'll go up to someone, make a manual save if you want. I just did anyway, just in case. But this bit is important. As soon as you start, so press play to start, start to play, even. As soon as the coin flips on the screen, press pause and fast travel to any point on the map. So as soon as you see that coin flip on screen, press pause and then fast travel again to anywhere on the map. Doesn't matter where. So, yeah, look at the game rules. All good, all Andy baby. So as soon as you press either heads or tails, now, pause, as soon as you see it flip on screen, and literally, like I said, for a third time, <laughs> fast travel literally anywhere. Um, I mean, we, we want to kind of go as north as possible, because that is where the location is, where we are going to be getting said over design 2 achievement very, very easily, instead of being super frustrated, because it can be a son of a bitch to do it legit. And this is how, like I said, you'll get it, you'll know that head has worked. The HUD at the top of your screen will not work. You can't see your abilities or absolutely anything on screen. So, go up to an enemy. Absolutely just try and find enemy, enemy. I just somehow managed to find a zealot. And as you can see, he is not even acknowledging my presence. You ignorant son of a bitch. I'm trying to kill you. Fight me. Fight me. But that's how you will know that it has worked. Because literally, enemies just won't see you. So you can literally just slice and dice your way through. And happy days. Again, like I said, a patch I assume will be inevitable from this point. So, you know, like I said, if you want to do it and get a couple of easier, uh, a couple of the harder achievements to do it easier. And uh, my controller batteries are low. Uh, <laughs> yeah, especially this one. So this is what we're going to do then. We're going to assassinate 10 enemies in a row. Uh, without being spotted. Now, there are plenty of uh, ways you can do this legit. Um, Leicestershire, uh, Leicestershire is a very good one because there's 10 guards kind of evenly spread out. Having a look in bushes, um, things like that, when you're in heavily fortified enemy areas. But since we've got God Mode on right now, at this moment in time that we can do, we might as well just do it now. And like I said, they're all walking away going, hmm... What's going on? Y'all just playing. Y'all just playing with me. Y'all just fucking with me, ain't you? And the answer is no. So this is what we're going to get. Um, I, uh, to be honest, I've done this kind of spread out. Um, it's probably... You know, it really doesn't matter. But as long as you just kill ten of these enemies in a row without being spotted, you can do that easier. So now we are at the big boy point. So these are the enemies. It can work with... Uh, shield, um, enemies with any shield, so even the wooden ones it can work with. But of course, normally legit, you'd have to do it with these big mofo enemies. Legitimately, you'd obviously have to weaken them down, catch yourself on fire, and then just bow and arrow their legs, or try and aim for the top of their head. Which, when they're throwing spears and explosives at you, it can be quite tricky. Now, again, <laughs> it's kind of a Good problem and a bit of a bad problem doing it this way. So what we need to do is obviously, there's a couple of ways that you can set yourself on fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
you'll have to throw your torch at either a hay bale or as you can see this um, big boy torch right there set yourself on fire and then go and kill him now with a heavy attack because you're on god mode with a heavy attack you can't actually kill them doesn't matter what power level you are you can actually just kill them with one or two heavy attack swings the problem is though when you're on fire from here it kind of burns out very quickly so that that's kind of where the good and bad problem is because they're not coming to you you've kind of got to go to them and you've got to try and do it on fire and it kind of doesn't tell you uh, <laughs> whether that whether the kill counted if you were on fire enough which is a bit of a pain I would have assumed if you were on fire a little bit it would have worked but apparently not so as soon as you get on fire just go jump straight down any of these big boy enemies that you see uh, they're called standard bearers these ones uh, but again like I said even if you see a small enemy with a wooden shield that can still be the same so always look out for these sort of thatched roofs sort of hay bale thatched roofs chuck one on fire and as long as you my best bet if you're doing it this way in the easy sort of god mode way make sure an enemy is quite close um, so you can just <laughs> slice and he had a shield on his back so that will have counted but yeah, uh, you can either try whistling to get him to come to a fire location, which again might be a bit easier. So check yourself on fire again, and then wait till your whole body's burning. And then what you can do then is just one or two quick swings, and then that should hopefully count for you. But the best tip that I can give overall is find, find a thatched roof like that. There are plenty about, and as you can see, there is just below a, another enemy with a shield and what this does if you put if you stay on this thatched roof you're basically going to be constantly burning which obviously makes this a whole lot easier so as soon as you're constantly on fire just you can you can either just assassinate him or just bow him whatever it is that is easier for you but hopefully that would have been better enough tips um, this would have taken a little bit longer but obviously this is the easiest way to do like I said there might be a patch coming out, so if you want to do this now, get it done now. But there we go then, guys and gals. So you've just got basically two potentially tricky achievements done and pff, completely out of the way. And also, like I said, you can use this god mode on Zealots and Daughters of Lyrion and any bosses that you may find tricky. But thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Big shout out to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon. Another big shout out to Achilles Melee for the original video showing us how to actually get God Mode. And I will see you in the next one. I hope this helps. Big love.